Welcome home, Raiders. Tonight, uh, the classic hype is totally real. Uh, we'll also talk MDI and more as Convert to Raid. Uh, this is Convert to Raid 361. That's what it is. You're listening to Convert to Raid. Convert to Raid. The podcast for Raiders in the world of Warcraft. Hello, everybody. I, I just about went into the old, uh, the old open. I was, it was something that I, that I, it was. It's a tough habit to break, but I'm, I'm here for you. This is Convert to Raid number three sixty one. We're only talking about WoW. We're not presenting anything. It's just Convert to Raid. However, <laughs> I would like to bring in our player, and uh, you know her. Uh, you, you like her most of the time. Actually, all the time. It's this the love fist. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. <laughs> ah, sorry. <laughs> I, had to, I had to do something weird. I was covering my tracks for my Uh-oh. crappy intro. I, I apologize for that. Oh, that was that was fantastic. You, and, and you're not wrong. I was I was like CTR pro. Oh no, this is the wrong intro. Oh yeah. Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, do you, I offered to do the intro. I. You know, right. we have witnesses. I offered. Right. It's okay. Right. And then I forgot to say everything else, which was, you know, uh, we're in Sacramento and today is, uh, well, I'm in Sacramento anyway. Yeah. Just, <laughs> and just today is it. August 13th, 2019, and it's now brr, 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 whatever it is. So. Okay. Let's just throw it all out the window then. Whatever. <sighs> all right. All right. All right. We will. No, Good. we're not. We're, we're not going to. Oh. We're, we'll continue on with the show because that's, that's what pros do, right? Whoa. Yeah, we could start over, but why? We're already past it. All right, so th- <laughs> so Thist, uh, I want to check in with you and see what's going on because uh, it's been a week. And um, hi, hi, hi. Did you? Uh, so now this last week we saw the classic name uh, getting machine, right? Oh yeah. I mean, where everybody was trying to get their name. Name again. Name again. Of, oh, yeah. of WoW Classic was, uh, was that yesterday? That was yesterday. Yes, that, that was, was yesterday. That was yesterday. Uh, so did you get your names? I did. Uh, I had to, I was still at work, so I had to install Classic WoW on my work laptop uh, <laughs> for one reason only. And uh, How did I that leave work, work out? around. Uh, it, was, it was actually fine. Um, obvi- I didn't really play anything, obviously. So, um, But I got in. I got uh, Fist on White Mane, and I got Fist on Pagel. Nice. And I'm very happy with those things. And I had to stay late at work to do it because it took ages to get into the realms. But mm-hmm. ain't no stranger to that. That was how I spent most of my adolescence, Patrick. Well, I had a little bit different experience. What happened? I freaked out a little bit because Uh-oh. apparently, so I went through the whole thing and I was like going, okay, I'm just going to make sure everything's updated. Uh, so I updated the uh, the launcher, the Battle.net launcher. I updated it. It said it was updated. It was not updated. It lied to you? It lied to me because now there's a thing where it's two little uh, uh, drop down menus, not just one. Right. It used to be just one. Now it's two. Now you have uh, WoW or WoW Classic, and then on the other side you have your account stuff. So you can so you can say, hey, I want to play. You know, if you have an EU account or something like that, you can drop down. Yes, and, and I play recently your... made one of those actually last weekend. Really? So I could play with my German friend on a German server. And how was that? It was, it was fine. No different was it, except for all the German. Was it Yagut? Was it? Yes. Did you? I don't. I don't. I don't know any German. I don't know any German either. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so th- that was that's cool though. So yeah, now you can do it. Just two different little drop down menus. But I didn't have it when names went live, and I freaked out a little bit. I you didn't like screaming and trying so, to shove a remote control up your butt. I maybe I made the dog a little bit nervous. She was in the room. And I and I kind of went, what is 
going on? And oh, no. and uh, she left. <laughs> She's oh, like, I'm out of here. I'm like, no, 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 don't worry about it. Come back in. And I was just like sitting here, just like knocking my head against the keyboard. And uh, and I think it was you said yes, it was. You said reinstall the thing. And I went, I don't want to do that yet. Let me make sure all the other things are done. And then I reinstalled and it worked. So what, what lesson did you learn yesterday, Patrick? I learned that it would actually paid to wait on that one because I wasn't waiting in line for, for like everybody else. That everybody else learned? Everybody else was waiting in line. I I popped in about an hour later. I grabbed my names. My names were still available for the most really? part. Wow. Well, for the most part. Hmm. I I was trying to get um my original Torin Druid name which was Meowmix Burger. Uh, I was trying to get Burger. And no I way could, that was available. I the, no, there was no way. I think in the I think it, or back in the day I even had to spell it funny, like one of those uh, yeah, yeah. one of those silly letters. You know, oh, a city letter with like one, an umlaut or something. One of those uh, like alternate a, letters, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, I'm yeah. not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that for for this stuff. I'm not. No. That really sucks. Like back in classic, because like. When I was playing vanilla, I was a kid and I didn't know how to make umlauts on my keyboard. Right. So if somebody with one of those crazy characters whispered me, Alt five four eight seven or whatever it was, it's like yeah, it's too hard. Yeah. I didn't even know how to play WoW back then, but I was still playing. But <laughs> you know, come up with somebody who's got an umlaut in their name, and it's like I'm never going to talk to you again. So. Right. See now, when I first started playing too, I was on a Mac. So. Really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It didn't last very long. It's good. I'll, t- I'll tell you that much. It did not last <laughs> long at all. Uh, so yeah, and that was back in uh, Wrath. So ah, uh, Wrath. Yeah. I was thinking about Wrath today. You remember doing a uh, Violet Hold? Sure. The original. Yeah, the original one. Not the not the revisited one of oh, Legion. The original one, and then like Arctic Fur would drop sometimes. Sure. I don't know. As a, as a, you know, you're like one of those like random wow memories. You're like, oh yeah, that was good. That was good. Even even in the time walking stuff, every once in a while you'll see an Arctic fur in there, and you're like, huh? Oh no, man, I don't need that. No, I definitely do not need that anymore. <laughs> I do not need half of the garbage that fell in that dungeon, but I have it in my bags now, which really goes well with all the all the Mechagon stuff. Yes. All <laughs> of the Mechagon stuff. Ah, oh, so uh, so I just thought I'd uh, tell people kind of what the deal is for uh, CTR and lagging balls and and other communities out there too because we we've, we've kind of let our communities know, and now apparently, <laughs> I checked the I checked our servers and I tweeted it out uh-huh. too. So I checked the servers that we're on; they're full, which means that if you want to get on there, there's going to be a queue. Just like back in the day. It's going to be horrible. Oh, it it's is not so bad. going to be horrible. Let the suffering commence. <laughs> Oop, that, wasn't, that wasn't nearly loud enough. Let me do that again. Let the suffering oh, commence. Go. Oh, yeah. You can really feel the, the bass <laughs> just rattle your brain. I feel the suffering. Oh, yeah, the it's suffering. It's no different than my usual day to day. The no, it's, suffering you know, is going to be real. Uh, so it'll, It will suck, but like that's only part of the classic experience. Sure. That's what people wanted. That's what people get. Right. Uh, so uh, the community stuff... Uh, it's between CTR, lagging balls, AIE, uh, let's see, the starting zone, um, uh, for Azeroth, realm maintenance. Uh, who else is in there? Um, I don't know. There's I, so many. The iTunes guys are in there from uh, from back in the day as oh, well. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, more. Let's just say, oh, World of Warcast. Uh, those guys are in there. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Uh, there's probably somebody that I'm forgetting, and if I am, yeah, I, we, I apologize. There's so many heads of communities in there, though. It's so cool coming together with right. all those people. And so we're all in a Discord server together. We're all trying to figure out exactly what our paths are going to be, and and um, we all have a different path as far as what guilds we're probably going to be involved with and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, it, but we are going to be on Pagel, which is a PvE realm, East Coast. Uh, time zone anyway. Right, uh, it's a bagel. And then that's a that's a that's a pagel. 
And then we also have a white main. White main yes. is the PvP server of choice. And we missed out. We missed out, which is actually a good thing. Uh, and I'm going to do this. Uh, because all of the streamers have decided to jump on one server, and that's uh, Fairlina. So yeah, have fun, everybody. So, uh, so if you want to come join us, uh, you can go to either Pagel or or White Main if you can get in. White Main sounds good. Let's go there. White Main PvP. Uh, oh yeah. And uh, the for as far as like the guilds that will be available, we're gonna have more information later. Once we get that stuff set up, like official, official, I'll let I'll let you guys know. Um, but uh, check our discords, both lagging balls and uh, and convert to are gonna are we're the discords have come back to uh, like a lot of life, especially in the classic chat channels yeah. and stuff. So um, make sure to check out our discords and and you can be in on be in on it from the start, and you'll kind of understand exactly what we're doing. But some we're trying to group up and just make ourselves available and try to make make sure that our communities can play together no matter yeah, where uh, we are exactly no matter That's what, what side no matter what side uh you and i are going to be going uh horde side on white main but so, i'm also but i'm also planning on playing on Pe pagel and that's going to be both probably Sure, but like it sounds like you're I mean, you're leaning more towards some PvP, Patrick? Yeah, I so the two things that I really wanted to get done was I wanted to play a shaman because I, when I was in the beta, uh that felt really good. Yeah. And uh you can only do that horde side. And then I'm also like I had never experienced world PvP when it was when it was, you know, back in the day. So why not just do that? That I love that attitude. And honestly, like back in the day, uh, it, it's not as rampant like PVP servers. It's never been as rampant as people think it is. I'm sure it absolutely will be out of the gate with with new classic, and it, it yeah. certainly will be on the streamer realm, of course, because that's why they're going. Right. But at least back in the day, it was not as bad. Uh, like yeah you get ganked when you were leveling of course but there are ways around that there's a lot of things that you can do like joining a nice guild uh and it's it, honestly like one of the best parts of being in a guild on a pvp server is getting to a higher level or like getting to max level and then seeing your your lower guild mates who are on alts or maybe just starting out uh go to guild chat and say something like Hey guys, I'm being ganked uh, in Stranglethorn or something or wherever. Because <laughs> it's uh, gonna and, happen in Stranglethorn. We all well, know it's obviously. gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, but uh, <laughs> but then you know, if anybody who's on, uh, who you know, realizes that they're on a PvP server, there, you know, all of a sudden, like chat lights up with like, "Add me. Where are you? Where's the party? Like, let's let's go. Where is this guy? What's the class? Like, what do we? Let's go, boys. Where we drop it, kind of thing. And right. everybody gets on their mounts, and we all just sort of like the sky gets dark because all these like mount. I mean, obviously, not in vanilla, but you, you just <laughs> go to where your your guildmate is, and you know this this world PvP ensues, and sometimes the 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 ganker brings their guild, mm -hmm. and then it's an all out brawl, and it's 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 it's. it's it's so good, Pat. It's so good. You'll be like, "Hey, man, I've only collected fourteen pages of the pages of the the book oh, of no. Stranglethorn, whatever the hell it is." I forgot. And I'm only a, I've only collected fourteen of the four hundred and seventy pages that I need out of this stupid book. And somebody is ganking me. Come help me. And, Thanks, Jeff Kaplan. And that's when your guildmates will say, "Get down with PVP." Get down with PVP. Uh, so, uh, so then everybody rallies and, and, uh, starts, uh, starts a faction war. Yeah. And it's beautiful. <laughs> and it's beautiful. <laughs> we'll find out. And, and I figured, you know, it's been, I didn't really play, I, I guess I did play Shaman in Legion, but it was only to level. And then I kind of left it by the wayside. Um, but Shaman has always been kind of one of those ones that I come back to every once in a while. It seems like every few years I'm like, oh, I want to play Shaman again. I want to be so, Shaman. 
Now I get to you play. You start it like whittling little totems out of pieces of wood you find That's, outside, and you're like, "What does this mean?" I am so excited about that, though. <laughs> oh yeah, because you get to go on all the totem quests and all that yes. kind of stuff, like the the class quests and stuff. Um, like the one in the the watershed where you have to go up that like that bluff and like there's a cliff and then there's like a bowl at the top with the fire in it and you fall off because it's hard to go up there. That <laughs> right. one. Yeah, that yeah. one. That one. That's the one. Um, and uh, th so there's another thing that I wanted to tell everybody about. And that was uh, so Tatva, who used to be a uh, host of this show, uh, for those guys that remember uh, the two minute tips with uh, Tat Tatva and Tovo. Um, I love those. Those are so great. I want him to do more stuff like that, but he doesn't have time. He doesn't have the time. Hey, I get that. It's tough. He wants to do streaming, though. So maybe you'll do that. Um, but he told me about a speed leveling guide uh, to read bef as you get the 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 get on the hype train for classic. And uh, this is uh, Jonasworld.com. J O A N A S World.com. And the cool thing about this one is that it is class specific. So you Ooh. can put in your class as well and they have it all laid out as far as what you need to do wherever you are. So you say like, hey, I'm doing Duratar from one to 12. Okay, well, here you go. Uh, we'll start you out in Duratar. We'll make sure to put all your class quests in here as long as you select your class and you'll get all the XP and I'll get all the things that you need along the way. And then we'll move you on to to Barons or whatever. That's so, great. Yeah, because like that, that was that's another thing that was really prevalent in vanilla is like you can't. I mean, you could, but it, it's just really, really hard to figure out where, where you need to go and what you need to do sometimes, especially like when your map doesn't tell you where your quests are right uh <laughs> yeah but, uh, i i remember just you know playing on my crappy little laptop back in the day and having to like alt tab out of the game and like go to alakazam try to figure things out yeah um, but yeah that's a, that's a huge thing because like it's a lot easier to figure out where you need to go and what you need to do nowadays like i only need to bring up wowhead for quests every once in a while like hardly ever right. uh, at this point but back in the day yeah, you had to. You had it, to. And now, uh, thankfully, the add-on situation is a little bit better. So uh, hopefully, you can get some add-ons that might help you out along the way as well. Uh, and you know, will it classic? <laughs> <There's> <laughs> that. Uh, and so you can kind of hopefully get everything together uh, before classic. I'm not sure what's available on on um, the Twitch app. No you know, idea. As far as like we'll the mods, for, as far as the mods go for classic, so yeah, yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out. Um, and the so they extended the the test, right? They extended the stress <laughs> test, and so everybody had until Monday to go do that, and then it shut down for the names part. Where and people, some people got a little ragey about that a stuff. A little bit. Yeah, um, it's fine. You you included. <laughs> Me included, and uh, I, I know that some of the streamers probably had some problems. Uh, yes, um, but I saw one in particular didn't get his name. However, I have an update for that, or at least a rumor. It's a rumor in Scuttlebutt. So, uh, so Asma Gold, he, he did this thing where he was checking for his name and it, it wasn't there, and I'm like, he has how many tens of thousands of viewers for his classic streams? Of course, people are going to be gunning for him, yeah. right? It was a compliment. It turns out somebody saved it for him. Oh. That's what I heard anyway. I'm not That's sure nice. if it's true. I I have not reached out to Asmon, Asmon Gold to, to confirm this or deny it. But I heard that somebody uh, DM'd him and, and they're, they're letting him have the name. So That's good. For a hefty price of $1 million. Obviously. One, I, I, one like million not dollars, though, like one million in game gold. One million gold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is worth, you know, more than some IRL money. Yeah. You still can't get some of those mounts, though. Jeez. No. Oh, Ugh. man. <sighs> Someday Ugh. I'm going to be so rich that I'll be able to buy a magic rooster egg off of eBay for $900. Well, good luck on that one. Thank you. That's, that's what I'm working towards. That's why I have so many jobs. 
Right. I just want that chicken. Once I have that chicken, I can finally rest. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not weird at all it's not weird at all no nope. yeah, it's good to have goals okay yeah uh but here's a question so i made a mage obviously okay and i love being blood elf but that doesn't exist in vanilla no uh so aside from being blood elf i really love being orc and torrent but you can't be mages on orcs and torrents so i grabbed a orc hunter and a torn warrior and I like both of those, and I've played those both before, but I really like Mage. But I don't know if I like Mage more than I like playing, uh, like, Orc and Torrent. But so what would you have to be to be a Mage? Troll? A troll or an Undead. Okay. I don't want to be either of those. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, I don't know. That, I mean, that's that's fair enough. I don't, I think, I don't want to be uh, either one of those either, I don't think. I think I'm leaning towards an orc hunter. That's solid. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that was my my first like main main. You know, like I I had the first character I ever had was a warrior, a torn warrior, and mm -hmm. I loved her. But uh, I, I'm not the the greatest at melee, but range DPS, I'm aces. So. You know. Well, and, and you know, for hunters, especially if you want to shoot anything, you have to be at distance. You have to be at at least five yards away. Yeah. So good luck on that one. Thank you. PvP is such a pain with a hunter. Mm. If you mm -hmm. if you have if you have a decent warrior that is stalking you in in a battleground or something like that, you are going to have a bad time. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not afraid. Raptor strike. <laughs> so so that's cool. Yeah, I've got uh, I've got an orc. Shaman and a uh, Torin Druid ready to go uh, over there, and then I have a an Orc Hunter ready to go on Pagel. Interesting. Should, should I uh, should the need arise? Yeah. Yeah, I secured my name on Pagel as well. I think I, I rolled a mage on Pagel. Yeah, I can't but, remember. And I know that people were asking, like, okay, so now if I delete this character. Does, is the name available like right away or uh, does it like have some sort of waiting period on this? And they're like, no, it's just gone. As soon as yeah. you delete it, it's gone. Just like on live, it's gone. But the yeah. thing about on, on live right now is not a ton of people are looking for new names on your server probably. Right? Exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. I, so, didn't, I did not customize it all. I just went in there. You just went in there and said, name, go. Name. Give yep. me. Right. So that's good. Yeah, this that's, is good. That's the way to do it. Yeah. I, and so uh, they announced today. Sorry. That yeah, no, closed go ahead. Beta, closed beta is back up. Yeah. So uh, so closed beta ha is back up because they want to make sure that all of the all of the things that they adjusted over the stress test, they want to make sure that's working. But it's only so. available to people who already had it, right? Correct. It's only that available means, to those guys that were in the closed beta, not to everybody that was in the stress tests. Right. So, so there's that. We we should get in there, Patrick, and stream some before you know. Yeah, it's only it's only available until Friday, though. So. Oh no! I, I think it's Friday. I think it's Friday. I've got raid. <laughs> I know. I know. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. <sighs> All right, we're going to move on to uh, the news. Although that was kind of news anyway. It was, uh, but I just yeah. haven't played the sounder yet, but we're going to go into uh, BFA. A clever strategy. Or buffa? Okay. Uh, so, what? <laughs> what? What? Buffa? Uh, <laughs> so, how is raiding going? Speaking oh, of which. Oh, oh, it's so good. We got, oh. It's good for you too. We both yeah. got heroic Lady Ashfade down this week. Yay! Uh, yeah. As we were talking about last week, it's nice to have a little uh, bit of a, a wall in a raid. However, uh, we both got that wall torn down. Heck yeah, we did. So you got, you're now five? Did, uh, did I hear that right? So yeah, Ashfade is four, so you, got, you went one more yeah. boss, right? We got Metroid down as well. Metroid is nothing compared to Ashbane. Oh my goodness. Is it's it a, basically the a, same? Yes, it's exactly yeah. the same. Oh, okay. Uh, well, not exactly, but basically. 
Um, sure. but yeah, no, it was, we, we one shot that thing. Uh, cool. cause you know, we were all hopped up cause we just gotten Ashbeam down for the first time. We're like, we are invincible. We can do anything. Bruh! Metroid. And you then, know? then you go get spewed on for a fight. Yes. What's that stuff called? Like incubation fluid? Y- yeah. And I don't yeah. like it. Like, I, that is the gross fight. It's like, I'm like, I'm like, dudes, come on. This is just, ugh. Ugh. I had oh, a, yeah. We had a whole raid full of bugs, and I didn't say ew once. Yes, and, you did. No, I didn't. Not was an old deer full of, like, blood and pus and barf and maggots Yeah, I, th- and that was pretty gross, too. That was pretty gross. That was pretty gross, too. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, but, but, uh, I don't know. We've had well, a little, some... A little we've Metroid had, gestation fluid freaks you out or whatever it's called. It's gross. That's all I'm saying. It's, it's gross. It's not even like a, a weird color. It's clear. I know. And usually when mucus is clear, that means you're healthy, right? But it's incubation fluid. I don't know that that's mucus. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything I don't know what the I don't know what the parameters are for, for Neither checking do out I. We should call Ian Hesekostis and ask him about incubation fluid Right, and see if it's healthy fluid or if it's the yeah, bad it's kind. Like, Ian, like, I've got a Starbucks cup full of incubation fluid. Can I drink it? <laughs> and then he hangs up. And I'm like, wait, I didn't ask you about the oxygen-rich membrane yet. Come uh, back. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> uh, actually, it kind of reminds me of um, uh, Putricide a little bit. A little, a yes. little bit. Very putrid. Yeah. Putrid side. Yeah, that was the gross, gross side. the gross wing of uh, ICC. That was the gross wing. Yeah, it's like you guys want to do the gross wing or the vampire chandelier wing or the other one. Yeah, right. I usually, I usually start with the gross one because it's gross. Yeah. yeah. Well, and it has the puppies. So yes. Uh, uh back to the news though. The oh, reason right. that I was asking was because now that we have cleared our uh our more of the raid in heroic i just thought i'd 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 turn it back to mythic because we talked about mythic last week and we're like oh there's 11 uh guilds that have downed it and none of them are uh alliance (laughs) sorry right uh well now we have 18 that have cleared ashara the the queen and guess what one of them is alive. So, congratulations. <laughs> honestly, is the first alliance guild to to down honestly. Queen Ash- Honestly? <laughs> yes. Honestly, honestly? They did it. They did it. Okay. They did it. So, that's good. Obviously, I'm horde, and obviously I think it's hilarious that <laughs> it's taken this long for an alliance guild to, but, you know, congratulations. Honestly, to congratulations. Honestly. Right. Right. Uh, also, this week marks the beginning of Wing 3 for those guys that what? are doing the LFRs uh, for this thing. So that's Zakul and Ashara. Um, and I tried that. That was easy. It was so easy. Oh, really? So easy. That's good. You didn't have to uh, ma- Well, at least I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it was 50. We were really close on that 15-second clock. For those oh. two guys having to go down at the same time, essentially, right? Right. And yeah. I th- and I thought, oh, they're gonna heal up. What's going on? Because, because of course, in LFR, all you do is just tunnel whatever's in front of you, and you don't care about mechanics. That's the way it goes. So, but it worked. And well, and congratulations. Zakul was like, some people did mechanics, other people didn't. I don't think it really mattered. Um, that's a hard fight for mechanics, though. Even I, I've done it on heroic, and I or not heroic, but normal, and I still don't get it. I right. mean, I get it, but I don't get all of it. You know, like I wouldn't feel comfortable telling people what to do. If I'm it, if I'm healing in that, I I've only healed on that boss, so I have no idea what's going on. Do we ever really know what's going on ever, though? Like in any any capacity whatsoever. Like, I really have no idea. Well, I what's like happening to think now. that I know at least a, uh, I have a basic knowledge of understanding of what's going on with the fight. Right. I'm not saying I always do. I like to think <laughs> I do. I, I mean, like to think I do. You know, confidence counts for like 70% of your success rate. 
That's why we got that Metroid down after Lady Ashvane. Absolutely. Pure adrenaline. Absolutely. Yes. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk with you about, now that we've kind of talked about the raid a little bit, uh-huh. unless there was anything else that you wanted to bring up about the raid. Uh-uh. Okay. <laughs> Are you tired with the show already? Yes. I'm very sorry. <laughs> this will be over soon, I swear. No, it no. Won't. no, it won't. Uh, th- but I wanted to talk MDI with you because you seem to be kind of an MDI person since you've worked with the MDI, you know, or in the MDI, whatever you want to say. I don't know if you know this, Pat, but I was, in fact, working for the MDI. Yeah. So you were there in Australia, and I don't know if you saw it coming or not, but, um, but uh, the MDI summer season has brought forth, um, I, I think what, it, what happened... Before the MDI went live for for the summer season, I think Ian Hazakostas was seen with, you know, one of those rug beaters. And he was beating the rug, trying to make sure all the rogues came out to join in on the MDI action. (laughs) Because there are so there are so many (laughs) Well, they're in hiding, right? You gotta go you gotta find them. Sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, (laughs) So there were so many rogues in the MDI. What is going on? Why are there so many rogues? Listen, they're just the best at this moment in time. Uh, we're we're right we're coming up to a, a nerf buff of a few classes, uh, and rogues are included in that nerf. Mm-hmm. Um, but this was it 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 just so happened that the uh, the summer season started on an inauspicious weekend, and at that time, at that that moment in time. The best, uh, the best team composition included as many rogues as possible. <laughs> and, uh, it really did. It, yeah, and the thing is, like, yeah, it doesn't make for the best uh, viewing. Like, a, as a viewer, it's like cool, more rogue action, and it, it, you know, it, it's it's always exciting to see your own class and spec sure. uh, up there, and you know, when it's when it's the same of a, a class and even a spec over and over and over it does you know it gets a little tedious yep. it's not as enjoyable but what you have to remember is like these teams are choosing uh classes and specs based on winning not based on entertainment right um and so I, you, you have to respect that you know i don't i don't blame the players at all no and i and i i can't even really blame uh the developers of this uh, because they're trying to make sure that the that the classes work just in general, right. right? And and now that we know that there are too many rogues, now they're taking a look at rogues and they're saying, especially uh, uh, the uh, the which ones the outlaw rogues are too strong. Yes. So and, and now like it's it's definitively true. It's like like yeah. the WoW team has to you know look at not only feedback from players but their own MDI and right. say, oh, no, this is absolutely a problem. So, you know, it'll be fixed. And I, w- I will say that that there is one group that could actually fix this. And I'm so um, I'm I'm I feel weird knowing this question in my head uh, two weeks after Zorbrix was here. Because I uh-huh. was th- I was thinking about it and I'm like going, well, it's really kind of a, a, a developer problem when you have uh, too many of the same class in uh, the MDI. I mean, it's just it's just kind of one of those things. That d- the developers have made these uh, made these classes and and specs available to these guys, and the MDI is just playing along with the rules, right? Yep. Why can't the MDI change the rules? They should be able to. I and mean, maybe and you're I think right. and I think for MDI they should change the rules. I think they should make it so that uh, you can only have one class. One, one of each class, one of any class. Well, I mean, that's MDI. kind of it's kind of working out for Overwatch League with the two 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 lock. That's that's what made me think of it, and I yeah. and I'm like, oh. well, they have the two two two, and now that's in uh, competitive. They're testing it out in competitive in in, uh, in over live, there, yeah. and, and then they also have it in the Overwatch League already, and uh, it seems to be working out for them. So, uh, is Zorbix in chat? Know. Is Zorbrix in chat? We gotta check this. Ow. Ow. Leave him alone. He's a busy man. Uh, well, yeah. 
He's not here. All right, so now we can talk trash about him. No, we're not going to do that. What? <laughs> we're not going to do that. He's a nice guy. But uh, it would be nice to maybe switch it up a little bit and get some get some different classes in there. And, and if you have to do it by a rule change, hey, that's something for next year maybe. Sure. Or something for yeah. the finals. Absolutely. And like this is only the MDI's third year. It's only yeah. three years old. Just a right. baby. Right. So you never know. Right. Yeah. That's so, a good idea though. That'd be pretty crazy. Yeah. I, I don't mind I don't mind that and uh I don't I haven't heard anything seriously bad about the Overwatch uh two 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 rule yet. No. So, neither have I. It's uh it seems to be working out pretty well. Yeah, but uh, that's a that's a good idea, and and you know, maybe that will come to pass. Maybe someday. Zorbrix will hear this episode and he'll go, "Oh yeah, that's totally cool." Zorbrix, I just want to apologize for everything that Pat may say and everybody. I d I didn't say anything bad. Yet. 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 But um, you know, aside from all the rogues, <laughs> like it was a great. Uh, it was pretty weekend. cool. Yeah. Uh, my good friend Sira, who was uh, used to be the the team captain of Shell's Angels, which became XL's Angels, was on the desk doing some analyzing, doing some casting. He was killing it. He was killing it. Sira was, was so actually really, really good, uh, and I, it's not just because he has a British accent. Yes, but it you know that helps. It definitely helps. Accents are great, like Nagura with her accent and Salute with his lovely Canadian accent. Mm hmm. It's right. great. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's 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 a good, it's a solid cast and a solid show. So uh, the only thing that needs to uh, maybe get a little bit varied is the uh, class selection, and that's all that I would like to see. All right. So, I, you know, other than that, good to go. And uh, what was it? They had a fan pick for uh, one of the matchups, and it was really awful. Yes. It was, yes, uh, what was it? What? It was uh, Sanguine was and Exploding. Explosive, yeah. Explosive. Yeah, that was, that's not good. No. <laughs> but that was great. That was that was so great, like, letting us, like, I mean, it's great because, you know, we were participating and, like, we got kind of in charge of, like, the fate of the of the players and stuff. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, everybody are, already knew right before it happened that everyone was going to pick the worst combination. Well, of oh. course. Of course. I mean, that's they the put it. Works. They put it on the internet. Mm, yeah. You know, that's, that's asking a lot. Happen. Right yeah. there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go to uh, eight point <laughs> eight point two point five. Last week, okay. last week we talked a lot about eight point two point five. We did. And it was fun. It was fun. There's, there's a bunch of stuff coming up. The Firelands. It's fun to reminisce, Pad. You remember last week? Yeah. Remember last week? God, that was so great. Oh, man. I'll never uh, forget. Oh, it was it was oh, as if we were times. in a dream. It's like you and me, somebody yeah. else, I think. Right. It was great. Mm-hmm. Gotta yeah. get back in time. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> but we talked about we talked about Firelands uh, time walking. We talked about the fifteenth anniversary event, which is all coming up in eight eight two five. We oh, got yeah. um, oh the uh, the Worgen stuff. I saw the new Worgen <laughs> animations. So did I. They look pretty freaking good. They look so much better. Remember how uh, I described the Worgen male uh, spell casting. Yes, like a dog in the back of a truck. No, it, well, kind of. Uh, like standing there and being completely off balance and waving your arms about, right? <laughs> Trying to make sure, whoa, whoa, Oh, yes, whoa, that, there's the noise whoa. that I asked you never to do again. And Right, and so now it's much more contained. Now it looks more like I'm casting a spell and doing something. So, Got it. Uh, whatever it. Whatever it was that I saw... Uh, a druid, uh, I think it was uh, regrowth or something like that, and then uh, so, and then I don't know which one it was. It was like I saw, uh, I saw it was it was it was druid spells, so I was particularly kind of oh. in in on it. And You're like, oh, that's like but me. it was but it was very much more like like closer to the body it wasn't so off yeah, balance it less was flaily. it was yes it was a lot more concentrated and a let a lot less cartoonish sure. um so i'm really digging these new ones and i'm like man uh i'm not going back to worgen for my druid though i'm not doing oh, it well, i'm not doing it that makes sense 
Uh, Cal Tiran is uh, is my jam over on the Alliance side. I know those uh, those wicker bears and stuff like that. Pretty pretty no, awesome. I'm still not impressed. I like the wicker creatures. But I am really happy for Warging players. It's uh, it's been a long time coming. You mm -hmm. guys got some cool new looks, mm -hmm. new animations, and uh, I look forward to uh, shooting you with fire. If there, I ever see. There we go. And there's also new running uh, animations as well, and those look uh, yes. pretty awesome as well. A lot so, better. Yes, it's a lot less <laughs> jumpy. I always kind of thought that they were kind of weird. That like four legged like yeeting that those Morgans did <laughs> with like their friggin' arms just going all over the place. Oh mm -hmm. my god. Mm -hmm. It's hard to be scared of a, a Worgen coming at you a, like an open world PvP because it looks like a dog in the back of a truck <laughs> trying to keep balance. <laughs> it really does. It really does. Yeah. Uh, speaking of new mo new models and news, all this new stuff, we d we missed some things last week that we d that we, we didn't did? talk about. Yeah, yeah. We missed out on some new models for some of the people that we know from either the books or from the game or both. Uh, and uh, one of them is, so we have four new, like, what would you call them? Hero NPCs? I yeah, guess. like, this is actually a good descriptor. Hero yeah. NPCs. Yeah. So, uh, Kalia Menethil. We have yeah. Zakan. Uh, Zappy Boy, you know, mm -hmm. that guy. Uh, Valera and Rathian. Uh, hello. <laughs> yeah, no, Rathian. Uh, so Rathian looks like Aqu Aquaman, doesn't mm. he? I mean, he looks like Jason Momoa. I thought he looked more like uh, like a bearded John Stamos in the 80s. I'm going to have to uh, disagree with you on that one. Fine. He's he. I mean, you know, he really he took off the turban. He's got the new shoulder pads. He's got the uh, he's got the beard now. Mm -hmm. The the blazing red eyes. Oh yeah. Uh, and uh, and he's v looking very dapper. Oh. I mean, he's always looked dapper, but now he's looking like he's looking like Aquaman. Yeah, he's definitely looking like a man. Like that's the, for sure. Like the <laughs> cool like the cool Aquaman, not the not the not the original Aquaman, not the <laughs> not the one wearing tights. Yeah, <laughs> with, the, with the with the radar coming out of his head. I got some fish coming. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, so like the last time we saw him properly was in Miss, was it not? Just chilling. Uh, yeah. Well, I think he was also in. I know in the books he was at the end of Warlords. Right. Um, I'm not sure if we saw him in game or not. Maybe we did. I don't remember. Well, I remember seeing him last in Miss and Pandaria. Yeah. And yeah, he, you know, he was, he's all right. He's a snack, but now he's a whole meal. Yeah. Yeah. He, he used these years, you know, out of the spotlight to uh, get swole a little bit, uh, you know, change the wardrobe up a, a little bit. Like he knew he was coming back. Rathian is a beefcake. He sure is. So... So get ready for that one. Uh, mm. And then, like, Valera, uh, you know, she's a rogue. Also looking good. She looks, well, she looks, oh. she looks like her Hearthstone hero portrait, right? Yeah, yeah. And with the big red pointy shoulders, I'm like, that won't make you stick out in the in the brush or whatever. You know, if, if you're that good at being a rogue, it doesn't matter what you're wearing. I guess. Yeah, that's right. I, <laughs> Sure. Talking about rogues like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and then there's Kalia Menethil, who has gotten an update because uh, her character has undergone a little bit of a transformation. And yes. and they need to reflect that because uh, she died and then was uh, risen by, uh, whatchamacallit, the Naru. So yes. now she's a light-born undead. Zombie lady. She so, looks cool though. So there's I will a, admit. there's a lot of rumor going around about what this means for WoW, right? Yeah. What have you heard? Nothing. I avoid spoilers, but thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, she's so Alliance Undead. That's one yeah. thing that has kind of come around is like, oh, so now we could have Undead as as Alliance, maybe? Maybe. I mean, if you read if you read the book, 
there's definitely some opportunity there, right? Yeah. I mean, she was, even after she rose, like, she was still down with the Alliance. Yeah. And, and usually when Alliance, you know, come back as Forsaken, they are no longer down with the Alliance. Right. So, I mean, there, there's a whole bunch of things that could be in the works, although with the other spoilers that I was kind of mentioning last last week, it was not spoilers, but they were leaks about what's happening in 9.0 and, uh, you know, after this anyway. And, you know, some of these supposed leaks, in air quotes, um, those said that there may not necessarily be a strong faction thing happening anymore. Right. Which... I don't know. I, I can't really see that being a thing. There's got to be some kind of faction conflict going forward. Like yeah. There has to be. Because otherwise, why do you have war mode? Why did exactly. you go into all that war mode stuff if we're not going to be able to use it anymore? Like, we came into this expansion with a bang, you know? Oh, tree on fire. Whoa, you know? Right. We can't, we can't go out without something topping that. Alliance isn't just going to gonna forget about crap like that. Yeah, and we, we're not going to forget about you guys... You know, coming all up on Undercity, like you on the joint. No, we took it. Fair square. It's ours now. <laughs> what? Uh, no, but now we have Kali at Menethil. Now she's going to take it back. <sighs> no. She is the rightful heir of Lordaeron, after all. It's not Lordaeron anymore. Oh, it's still Lordaeron. Oh, yeah? Yes, You want to fight about it? Maybe. <laughs> let's and, pvp pat you and me let's duel right <gasps> let's duel and we'll live stream it uh but in classic sure <laughs> god that would be so horrible i know <laughs> you're oh. out of mana by the third cast and you're just running around <laughs> we should fight in real life at blizzcon oh yeah we should totally fight how why would i want to do that i don't want to hurt wins. you i don't want to hurt you, you won't hurt me I want uh, you. Uh, I don't want right, to be hurt. Right in front of the Hilton. It's mm. on, buddy. Well, if you're going to get hurt, be right in front of the Hilton. I Absolutely. Because that's where <laughs> Taze on Day hangs out, apparently. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, you say. Nice. <laughs> uh, well, maybe. Let's put a pin, pin in that and we'll circle I'll back to it. I'll see you. Well, I'll definitely see you days. at I'll definitely see you at the Hilton. Yeah. You will until I, you know, knock you out, Patrick Crane. Let's go. Right. Let's go, big shot. No, I don't. I don't really want to. But we could fight over like title of a uh, Wow podcasting god. I'll, oh, you could just have that. You, that's fine. That's what? fine. You could just have that. You can't just hand you it to just, me. You could just I have it. You could just have it. I earn it by fighting you. I, that's the only way I'll gain your respect and the respect of the followers, Pat. You know, I'm a healer at heart. <laughs> that's not gonna help you and i'm uh, mopping the floor with you well no it, it might heal myself a little bit and just be able don't to, you dare i'll interrupt you i've got yeah, cc's probably, man you, you probably will i got ways yeah that's that 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 fits uh <laughs> okay so there's another thing in 825 that we didn't talk about last week i'm not sure if uh, I, I can't remember when this post came out i guess it was saturday so it was over the weekend uh, mm -hmm. in patch 8.2.5, you will, and I'll, I'll exchange will for may, you may be able to log into the game with your phone. Well, you will be able to log in with your phone number. Okay. So will you be able to log in with your phone? That's what I want to know. I, uh, I'm looking at I, this. But you, you'll be able to exchange that for your phone number instead of your email. So that's kind of that's kind of an interesting little change. I feel comfortable with that. I'm hoping that uh, that means that there's going to be like a two because everybody's authentication factor thing. Yeah, going I was, on. I was going to do the joke, but maybe I shouldn't do the joke. Do it. I was just going to say everybody's got a phone. Oh, um, not that joke. That's got too a phone. soon. Look at you in your red shirt. They haven't even. They haven't even. They haven't even uh, uh, put out the the game yet. Yeah, well, yeah, well. <laughs> uh. But no, I more more security options for my WoW account uh, would be great. 
You know, yeah. I've already got the uh, the authenticator set up on my phone, which I love. Right, and uh, they're not and they're not doing the physical authenticator anymore. So I, I guess no. this is just another way to to do that. Yeah, and that that works for me. I would I, love that because I've been hacked once and it's not a good feeling, Patrick. Right. So you'll be able to log in with your phone number, probably not your phone, because you need to have the game on there and all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah. Right. I want I want to be able to uh, log in to game. Uh, check in on all my characters, read their mail, and um, and and mess around in the capital cities. That's it. On my phone. On your phone? On my phone. Is that too much to ask, Blizzard? Right. Come on. And maybe uh, do a do a BG, um, just like a quick, you know, something. I don't know. I think like a war song gulch like type of thing. Yeah, maybe do fishing. Huh. That'd be great. I would do a lot of fishing on my phone. Would it be the VR kind where you actually have to move your phone about though? Yes. So I'd be like trying to sneak playing WoW at work on my phone and I'd be like <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> we're, we're just we're just yapping. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, it would be nice if they had a fishing app though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would appreciate that very much. A uh, professions app, if you will. Just well, yeah, sure, but mainly fishing. Mainly fish, yes. Mainly fishing. Yeah. All right, real quick, we're gonna go on to some other games, um, and I, I don't know what I want to do for a sounder for that. Maybe I'll just do. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do anything. I'll do you just want do, me to do something? I'll just do that. I didn't do that. You did that. Oh, yeah. that was you too. Right. That's you. Um. So let's talk about some other games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first of all, uh, we have Sigma in on Overwatch. Sigma! Sigma! Hero! Uh, new hero. We, we've been talking about him a little bit. He's got uh, a shield that you can move along in a yes. in a, in a, a straight direction. Line in front of you. Yeah. Yes, yes. But you can even point it up and all that kind of stuff, too. Sure. I was playing, uh, I was playing the... Uh, one where you can have everybody play the same character. So there were basically yeah. like four All sigmas sigmas. on each side. Lots of shields. Right. Ugh. That's got to be annoying. Ugh. It was Sigma and Moira. Those were the only only two that That's you could play. All you need. Right. But yeah, he uh, he went live today. That was very exciting. Uh, I went in and grabbed the Talon skin for him immediately because that's the one that has shoes and you have a thing about bare feet so i really do i cannot stand them uh so i i, I took care of that problem real quick there you go um i was confused today because uh when they announced the the 222 roll lock or roll queue as they're calling it uh they announced it for competitive and for quick play but yeah. it looks like it's not included with quick play at least not yet not and yet. i I don't. I think. I'm a little I think disappointed. So I think when the season starts, they're gonna implement that on the quick play. I want I, it now. I think. I mean, well, you can I, you go play competitive. Well, I don't have time. That's a that's an emotional investment <laughs> that I don't have time for All during right. the week. All right. All but right. uh, you know, it the fact that it's it's in competitive now makes me want to play competitive now more than ever. I'm very excited about that. Yep. Um, but yeah, I was really looking forward to that in quick play. Uh, cause I, I've been loving watching it in Overwatch League too. And it seems to be working out really well. And you know, I love playing tank and heels and I hate when I can't do that. So this, this was good for me. So I don't know. Cool. Um, well, I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward to it too. And actually I'm usually not a competitive Overwatch player. Just mm -hmm. because I'm just like, oh, I'll just get in, get out. It'll be fine. You know, five, ten minutes of my life. That's that's all I <laughs> want to invest. I'll play I'll play whatever I want, whenever I want, and just kind of, you know, not care too much. But sure. with the two two two, it makes it a little bit easier, I think, for uh people like me that maybe have like some some characters that they're pretty good at and and just kind of want to invest in those a little bit more. Um, so yeah, and just, and yeah. just have this kind of knowledge of, uh, where you want to go with it. So, yeah. And this, this will ensure that, uh, you know, the people you're on, uh, a team with have chosen what they're good at Sure. Uh, and not just what's left, you know? Sure. Um, 
So yeah, it should, it should be good for everybody. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in other game news, Diablo three put out a thing. They put out they put out a post where they're talking about how they're still going to be supporting uh, Diablo three. Yeah. And it's really weird. So they're talking about continued support for Diablo three. We're continuing to support for Diablo three, which is the current game. So we're continuing support. We're not making any announcements here other than we will continue to support our game. Yeah, it's they're just doing exactly so, what they've been doing. Right. So they're they're just saying, all right, um, we're continuing to they're alluding to yeah. Diablo four. Yeah. And uh, uh, and the and of course, the mobile game. Yes. No, not really that. It's Diablo no. four. Of course, it's <laughs> Diablo four. Come on. Uh do you think? Yes. We're, th we're th what, three months away from BlizzCon? Hmm. Three months uh, away? This is the first step to say, oh, yes, it's coming, folks. It's coming. And for that, we say yeah! thank you. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. That's, that's it. You so, sure about that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Pat. 80 days until BlizzCon. 300 hours until Classic. Oh, man. It's like life is so great right now. Leading up so to, to look forward to. Leading up to BlizzCon is like counting down the days to Christmas for a lot of uh, Blizzard nerds. All so of, BlizzCon all. kicks Christmas's ass. It really does. Especially really if does. you go there and uh, hang out at the parties and stuff like that. And I, and I hope that... Um, you guys out there, uh, if you go to BlizzCon this year, that you will uh, find us in the various places that we're going to be at. It's really easy to find Pat because he's always dressed in uh, uh, stripy bell-bottom spandex pants and some really nice uh, platform boots from the 70s. Sure. No shirt, but lots of really like nice gold chains. Right. And then this really long leopard print coat that's got this feather trim. And to top it all off, he's got this big floppy hat. Right. And uh, Fist always wears a black cat suit with the ears. <laughs> with the ears. <laughs> right. So so there. Find I mean, us. It's, it's find right us at BlizzCon. Up, yeah. Uh, find in, us if you dare. Until then, we'll talk about eSports. Yes. So uh, last weekend, we saw uh, Overwatch League sta Stage 4 Week 3. Uh, we only have a couple more weeks until oh. uh, it's over. Oh, gosh. Well, until we know who's playing in the finals, yeah. I should say. Or in the playoffs. And then the playoffs are so soon, Pat. I yes. mean, not really, but kind of. Yes, and one of the big uh, one of the big things that happened this last weekend was uh, the rebranding of the L.A. Gladiator Gladiators to the Big Geese. I love the Big Geese. I wish that they would call themselves the Big Geese forever. Right. This is not a big thing. This is, this is well, it's Big Goose. They were just ma making a big deal out of Big Goose, and they rebranded, right? I mean, yeah, for the all for the meme, but uh, yeah. it's just it's so perfect for me because like I love the LA Gladiators so much, and I also really love birds. There you go. Yeah, but that that sucked for me specifically because that was uh, LA versus Dallas, and I don't usually I can't watch uh, that was a good match. versus versus glads because they're both my favorite and it's just very conflicting yeah. so i usually avoid those games but i couldn't avoid that game because it was the big geese patrick that was a really good match though they went uh it was actually a reverse sweep by the big geese to yeah. uh to win it uh three two so i mean it was it was a really good match yeah uh, i was proud of both of them yeah and uh i don't know if there were really any other surprises or anything like that were there not really not really and now we're looking at the standings as we get closer to playoff time. And, and you can see, man, it's looking like the Dallas Fuel needs to, to needs to step it up a little bit. And they've got can a we tough... Can not talk about it, please? They've got a tough schedule. They've got a really tough schedule. Uh, and, you know, the, the Valiant need to step up. The Outlaws need to step... Actually, there's a bunch of teams that need to step up. And then some of them are just out. Yeah. Very sad. Just out. Uh, yeah. I just I'm hoping that the Glads can pick it up just a little, little, little bit. 
Right. Because the stage playoff cutoffs, they're like ninth place. You have to be eighth or higher. Come on, big geese. You can do it. Right. Um, so, I mean, the, I mean, it's not actually they they bumped up mm-hmm. the glads. They bumped up to number four. Really? Yeah, they're number four now. What? Yeah. They're number four. It's Titans, Excelsior, Shock, Glad. Really? Yeah, and then Spark and Spitfire. Okay. Those are the uh, top six right there. Excellent. So God, those are I your will, leaders uh... at the moment. And I think that, you know, it's pretty obvious that the Titans, the Excelsior, the Shock are are in for, for sure. Of course, but you know, one can dream. Wouldn't it be amazing if the Glads made it to the playoffs? Right. I mean, it would. The I think brand. the Glads will make it to the playoffs. Uh, looking at the rest of the year, I, who knows though? I mean, who knows? I mean, that's the nice thing about Overwatch League, and I say that all the time. Like you, never can tell. Right. Some things seem very obvious, but then all of a sudden, they're not. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Uh, this weekend, we have, let's see, GSL versus the world. That starts this weekend. Uh, Hearthstone Masters Tour in Seoul kicks off on the 15th. So that'll be cool. Uh, also, let's see. Uh, and then we have a couple of things happening a little bit later. Grandmasters uh, Season 2 for Hearthstone kicks off next week. Uh, WCS Fall in Montreal. That is. That rhymed. Yeah. That is going to be September 6th. So we've got a couple of weeks on that one, but that's another huge event uh, yeah. that you got to check out. So, And then also AWC, the summer finals are Yay. September 21st. This weekend, we also have MDI East. So uh, we'll have all of the uh, APAC uh, teams and stuff like that going head to head. That'll be fun. Uh, and then next week, it goes back to the West, right? right. The week following. So yeah, it's a crazy schedule. It's a fun time. It is a fun time. It's a good time to be a Blizzard fan. It is. As usual. It is. All right, we're going to get out of here. Where are we going? Um, Philadelphia. What are you for doing? For the Overwatch hands? League playoffs. I don't know. Uh, but that's not for a while. <laughs> I am well, going to that, though. That'll be fun. Oh, yeah. That'll be fun. That'll be a good time. I'm excited. But it's, I've never been to Philly. It's, just, it's too bad that it's in, in Philly. Why? It's like an hour Philly away has from the me. worst fans. They have the worst fans. <laughs> Even the fans <laughs> are like, no, we're, we're the worst. We're the worst. It's fine. Whoa. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> I think that's more for T Sports. We'll see how it is for esports. I don't know. Maybe it's different. Beats me. Until then. Uh, anything new for you? Lagging balls just uh the new show just dropped. Last that's night, right? right? Yeah, that's right. Nice. Uh, anything you. else coming up for you? Uh, oh, we're about to choose our new TNA. Oh, Stay this is your tuned. this is your new uh, technical assistant. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, good luck in the good luck in the process. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And you can follow this at this03 pretty much everywhere on socials. You can follow me at Pat Crane at pretty much everywhere on socials. And you can follow the show at Convertorade on the Twitter. And I'll bail out of that. I'll hit that. There we go. You can also find us, you know, if you're listening to us on the, on the podcast and you want to find us on a different platform, just go to that platform, plug it in, see if we're there. Most likely we are. We are omnipresent in on the internet. So there. Uh, and, of course, you can always go to ConvertToRate.com. That's where we have our audios, our videos, our guild stuff, and more. And we'll have even more stuff as classic uh, approaches hitting the, the website, probably. Most likely. It's all over at ConvertToRate.com, though. Go, go check it out. Uh, and that is going to be it for the show. Thist. What? Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. For joining me. Twitch chat, thank you, guys. And, of course, thanks to you guys at home. Uh, if, for thank you for carrying us around with you wherever you go. We definitely appreciate it, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. So I guess we go back into classic beta and uh, and duel, right? This <gasps> uh, leaking game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. And then we'll fight in, at the Hilton. Uh, yeah, for we will. Right. So until then, 
for Thist and myself and the rest of the folks over here at uh, Convert Trade. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye!